Welcome to 24 Willie Mays Plaza, the home of the Giants and Oracle Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now, getting the nod on the mound, Jordan Hicks. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because the you know, guys are looking to hit balls the down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Two, one. The shortstop takes a ball. Now one fouled off, two and two. Righty delivers. That one ripped right center field. It bangs off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Here's Lane Thomas. Move to second. Abrams back in on a dive. And it's second. That's and another ball. 3-1. Here comes a pinch. 3-2 yeah. now. Well, he's realizing out there okay. now that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Payoff pitch. This one chopped up the middle. Sends it to Flores. One out in the top of the first. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup, the challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Joey Gallo in the on-deck circle for the Nats. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Kicks and deals. That one down the line. Can't glove it cleanly. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. And Winker is set down. That is cool. The first baseman, Joey Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present-day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. The pitch. Three ball, one strike. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Really important for the pitcher. To not get proud, stay with the scouting report, and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling Adam Dunn. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Three two on the way. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. 
Fouls it back with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. About to see the 11th pitch of the at bat here. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Seven fouls in a row. Such an impressive at bat we're seeing right here, regardless of how it ends up. Good Take plate appearance ball there. Ball. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Eddie Rosario. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. Gallo off of first with two away. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Woo. And a big swing and a miss. Great oh, RBI yeah. spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. So now two on and two outs. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle yeah, finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. And now here is Trey Lipscomb. Two on, two outs. Oh. That misses the zone. And a count two and one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two outs. And another ball. Luis Garcia up next for Washington. And the right-hander deals. And he chases that one. They limit the damage here. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. here with my pal Singy and on the hill in this one Patrick Corbin try to stay back for that power changeup speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge hitters they have a hard Leading time up, staying up, back and digging in for San right Francisco field. Austin, Austin Slater. Slater is a 1-1 slapped hard the other way but foul Here's a one two. Hard hit left side. Slings it across. Oh. One up, one down. Exactly. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One down, base is empty. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. 
Runner on at first with one gone. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. And now the lefty bounced out to short. Dive, and he's got it. Abrams oh. to second. Double Good. play. What a twin killing to end the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here at Oracle Park, all set for the start the of the base. inning. And now it's Luis, Luis Garcia. Garcia. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Riley Adams digging in for the Nationals. At the belt and fires. Fouls one off. Two and two. Runner at first with no outs here. And downstairs. Oh, Joe yeah. McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Out towards left center. Conforto makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting up. The center field, number 16. Victor Robles. Here's Victor Robles. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And here it comes. Ball. And that's off. The inside edge. Now two and two. Hit on the ground might be two. There's one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Nationals one, and the Giants nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Soler. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Good One, late two. sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. to these fans this place is absolutely buzzing right now you can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth any 
Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Chapman at the plate. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to Gallo. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. It's a good recovery, good. though, after giving up the Look home run. You. Not no. allowing it to stay in the Murphy. head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. So here's Murphy now. One down, base is empty. Rip to short. Abrams tosses That's the out. first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Batting seven. The second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada to the plate. All tied up. Bottom half of inning number two. Ball That's two. down and in. Two balls, one strike. Right side, hard hit. Whips it to Gallo, out. and Estrada is out. Inning over. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. All even now at 1-1. New inning getting started. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. C.J. Abrams. Hit hard on the ground is short. Ahmed gets it to Out. first. And one away at the top of the third. Now batting. Right fielder. Lane. Thomas. And now up for Washington, Lane Thomas. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. In the air, right side. Sizes this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. The batter, number six. Designated hitter. Here's Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And the next pitch is way outside. Wouldn't chase that time. And that one wrapped foul. And the pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. In the air, right field. Slater makes the grab. And that's the third out. After two and a half, it remains a 1-1 ball game. Set for the bottom Leading of the third. Up. And now the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. That's shortstop. This is a guy who's in the line of first oh, and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs oh, from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. One strike. That one fouled off two and two. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he Ball does. Three. Next pitch is outside. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Outside, and that is ball four. 
Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Peter Liga. didn't offer Where at it. Done. Now he has somebody to worry no, about over at first. Tyler. And up next for San Francisco, Tyler, Tyler. Tyler Fitzgerald. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And that one fouled off. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. And a base hit. Rowe holds him at second, but the go ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Oh, oh, just a nice job coming through on a pretty high leverage okay. spot right there. That could be a dangerous right pitch if you don't get it inside and off because. As a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Austin Slater stands in. Turned on, but foul wide of third. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Next okay. offering is down low. And that's ball three. Line drive, caught! That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty now, well. I know it First didn't produce three. a hit, but he made Real solid world. contact, and that's all you're Real looking world. to do anytime you're at the plate. Two on, one out, and now it's Wilmer Flores. Two on, one out. At the dish, oh, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bird. The pitch. Double steal. And fouled off. Two two now. High in the air out to right. Flying after this one. Nice grab on the run. Runner tags it second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. The left fielder, number eight, Michael. Conforto. And here is Michael Conforto. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential Steve base dealer. Swing and a miss. One that ball. is strike two. two strike. In the air, out towards right center. He's under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is the inning. Giants leave a couple. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here in San Francisco. And now Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Bullpen action for the Giants for the first time. Number 56 getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Number 65 warming up as well. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball and three. another ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Righty to the plate. And a swing and miss. That's the first out in the top of the four. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jordan Hicks is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Dalton Jeffries. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. One down, base is empty. 
Fought off foul. The one two. Ball. And there's a the ball. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. In there. Got him looking for the K. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. Everything came together for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Luis Garcia now at the plate. Man on second, two down. No. Just missed. As a pitcher, you, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Two outs. Ball. That one misses. They're down three and one. Riley Adams in the on deck circle for the Nets. And it's second. Hard hit left side. Jump throw. And he saved it first. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it. But it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play. Just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. Here's the catcher, Riley Adams. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground to third. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. And the righty deals. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great stop. To his knee, the throw. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton that's with you. And leading off the bottom of the board, Jorge Soler. The wind and the pitch. That one Ball misses. Four. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and lead off batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a clean strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. No outs. Runner at first. And here is Matt Chapman. With the go-ahead run at first. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the dirt. And that's ball three. Calling this count runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. That one oh, finds yeah. the zone, and it's three and two. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Solaire gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Drops into the glove. Now batting, catcher, John Murphy. Now it's John Murphy. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Man at first, one away. Ground 
ball right side. Makes a sliding stop. And they get down. Nothing doing here this half. We played four. All tied 1-1. One, one. And we're back. Leading we go to the top Nashville. of the fifth. Up now the for Washington. Victor Robles. Victor Robles. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. The line of the pitch. Ball. And now it's even up. on the ground to first and he takes it himself out. for the out those plays can be tricky they're routine but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth he delivered a good play right there so the batting order turns over next to hit for the Nats C.J. Abrams base is empty one away and we're at the top of the fifth quick swing he went it's a ball in two strikes One down, base is empty. The shortstop takes the ball. That one misses. Counts full, three and two. Lane Thomas up next for Washington. And that one hit to first. Flores That's takes it to the bag and that quickly two away. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And now up for Washington, Lane Thomas. Two out spaces empty. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Soft contact in the air. Fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. He is safe. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Go ahead, run on base. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. Man on second, two down. He's trying for third. Strike in there. And now a wide throw to third. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher and they pick up a run. Two outs and one in scoring position. Fouls it off, still one and two. Righty delivers. Swung on, belted. And that one hops the wall. He's in safely at second as a run comes in and they take the lead. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it. So really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now it's Joey Gallo. Two outs. Top right. of the zone for a called strike. The one-two. 
That one missed. And it's second. Ball. Full count. Eddie Rosario waits on deck. Three two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Runner at second. Two down. him out a run on two hits and they leave one home half of the fifth coming up it's the Nationals two and the Giants one Back here at Oracle go. Park, ready time. to go for the last half of the, the inning. Baseman. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Estrada. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a count one and two. That's and ball. another ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Abrams tosses the first, and the Giants down to their final line. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Tyler Fitzgerald digs in now. You got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Corbin is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game, classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our ball game this 